I think I, I think I think it's not so easy uh, being human. Uh, some people, you know, think it is, but I, I I think that just getting through time, the getting through the inertia of life, getting through the day, uh, for some people, is an enormous achievement. I know people who are so crushed with depression that you know <laughs> if they get if they get through an afternoon, it's, it's, it's like climbing Everest. Um, I'd, say, I'd, say the, I'd, say, I'd say life is, life is an achievement. Being here um, is an achievement. We, 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 we've been fooled and confused and seduced into thinking of achievement in such um, external and, and ridiculous ways um, that would just make our lives impossible. I, I'd, I would say, in all honesty, um, my greatest achievement to date is uh, gradually acquiring a simplicity of being, um, just becoming simpler in myself, um, and being except being myself in its in its in its surprise and its simplicity and its in its disappointment and its exaltation. That that's that's. It's, um, I don't know, I can't speak for other people, but I, I, a great deal of my life I've, I've felt, I've been sort of struggling through um, so many, most of our lives are shaped by external things, external perceptions, and we internalize a lot of these, and some of these become problems in our egos, and our egos then become problems in, in that etern internal equation. And actually, not so much taming the ego as kind of making it a, um, a co-partner in, in, in the business of living as, has, has been, is the thing I'm proudest of. Mm -hmm. I think maybe the greatest things that we do uh, sometimes are incidental. Um, we, we, we set out to climb Everest. Um, we climb it, but our greatest achievement might not be climbing Everest, actually. It might be some thought we had climbing it, some change of perception about ourselves while doing that. It might be even the realization that climbing Everest is actually not the most important thing that you could have done. So where the, the, the true greatness of whatever it is we do is, is mysterious. Um, and finally, it's not for us to judge. Um, what, it, what is for us, for us to judge and to consider is to live fully uh, and wisely and fearlessly and wildly and let the meaning of that emerge as it will. Mm -hmm. we, we should not accept um, the definition of our achievements to ourselves. Oh. We, must, we must continue our journey because what, what it does is it leads us to anthologize ourselves or to rehearse ourselves or to continually perform um, ourselves rather than just being. Um, I know so many people who are trapped in the perception of their greatest achievement and they live it and live around it, live from it. It defines them. It eventually reduces them. Um, no, I think, I think whatever one has done in the past is... It doesn't exist anymore. I think what one does now, this moment, is what counts. It's from one moment to another that one's life is decided and shaped. That's how I see it.